a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so where I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Becca and I do a ton of cleaning motivation over here. So if you need extreme cleaning motivation, hit that subscribe button and join the family. Today, I'm gonna try and get the entire upstairs done because the bathrooms are gross and need really good cleaning and scrubbing. The Colby's room, my oldest, his room is really bad. That's where we're gonna start. It's like really bad. We have to put it back together. That's, it's not his fault. It just needs to be put back together because we've been working on projects and stuff and painting an accent wall and all that kind of stuff. So I really need to get this room put back together. And we also just need to clean, you know, my room is really dusty, needs some good cleaning. My bathroom's gross, just all the things like that. So if you need some extreme cleaning motivation, you came to the right place today and let's hop into this video. Reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I guess I should explain what's going on in his bedroom. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I do explain this more into detail and share more on cookie cutter upgrade is the name of my Instagram page. But we built those shelves years ago, built the desk years ago. I redid this dresser years ago. Still love it. Still so happy with it. This was the first furniture flip I ever did. And uh, my husband helps me with it and I just love it. I still love how it turned out, but I got him some new bed sheets from Walmart. They're pretty nice. Can't complain. A totally affordable. Love the color. And his bedding's down there, but we'll make the bed. And then I painted an accent wall, which is the same color I used in my bedroom. Um, I had some leftover paint. Thought it would be great to do. And we had hung the first shelf. Assuming we wouldn't need the second one. But honestly, there's just a lot of clutter like on his dresser and over here. And I feel like it will be better organized on the shelves um, because he doesn't touch all that stuff all the time. Like this stuff over here, it's kind of like just sentimental, you know, value to look at or whatever, not really touching and playing with it. And then, you know, he's got some books and stuff. So get all that stuff kind of cleared away and put up there. And I do have some posters of his, like there's a poster right there. He pulled out his posters right here and I'm just trying to find the right size. I went to Walmart. They didn't have the size that I needed. Um, so I'm going to be hanging those in the future, probably just kind of throughout the room, but I've got to find frames first, but that's just a quick tour of his room and what's going on. This is a picture of my cousin Kyle and Colby when he was a baby. Kyle unfortunately passed away in 2008 and Colby was just a baby so he doesn't really have any memories of him but I've always kept this photo in his bedroom because he just adored him and loved playing with him and he would have been a very 
influential role in his life had he still been here and I always just want Colby to know how important he was to him and he's always got somebody looking out for him. Years ago when I decided I wanted to give Colby's room a big like revamp, I actually did it one summer while he was at his dad's and I kind of surprised him when he came back. Well, Chris and I surprised him when he came back. We both worked really hard on this room. We worked hard on redoing the dresser, building the shelves, building the desk, and I really just wanted to make it like, his, make his room his own little like place and get away and everything, right? Like to call his own and to be able to sit in there and do his homework and he hated sitting at the kitchen table doing his homework, especially when, you know, the kids were little, little because of course they were loud, they made a lot of noise, he couldn't focus. So I thought it was important to make this space really just give him the space he could call his and it was a lot of fun decorating it oh my goodness look at little colby oh my gosh i miss when he was that little they seriously grow way too fast but it was a lot of fun like decorating the space and it really like i had decorated like the living room and the kitchen and my bedroom and everything for so many years and i knew my style and i really wanted to put a more masculine and like you know boy more of a boy's touch to it right and I just love how it came out. I loved the industrial vibe. I felt like that was really masculine and you know, just kind of like boy friendly, I guess you could say. Like, I just love how it came out and he still really actually likes it. So it just works. On a side note though, why do kids have so many little knickknacks? Is it just my kids or do your kids do the same thing? I, they have so many like little toys and little knickknacks and I thought at this age, at 16, you know, that would kind of like dissipate, but now it's more like, you know, shelfable things. Like it's not like little toys and stuff like that. It's more like, oh, I really like this like action figure that you don't actually play with and you just sit on a shelf for eternity. <laughs> Please let me know. My kids are not the only ones. Getting this desk cleaned back up was really important for me. Of course, I feel like, you know, teenagers and everything, they kind of struggle with like, kids in general, I guess, really struggle with like organization and, you know, clutter and everything, probably because they don't care as much as, a, as us adults do about clutter. But for the most part, I swear my kid has, he's like one of those, it looks really messy, but it's organized to him type of person. And you could tell whenever I was like taking this apart or whatever, like taking this stuff and separating and everything, there was like little piles of everything. So he knew where everything was. And I do this every so often. I come in here and I just really like take everything apart and reorganize it. He honestly does not mind me doing that at all. It doesn't bother him at all. Um, so I, if he had asked me not to do it, if he felt a certain way about it, I absolutely would not come in. I believe in, you know, giving him some privacy. And if he doesn't feel comfortable with me, you know, going through his stuff and everything, then I would definitely give him the opportunity to, you know, have that privacy. But he honestly doesn't care. He doesn't really have anything to hide, to be honest. He's a good kid. And so I come in here every so often and just really like work on you know helping him most of the time I have him in here with me and I'll say you know what's important what's not important help me go through this stuff you know let me show you how to easily do this and do that to find things to organize things and all of that good stuff you 
can do whatever you like You don't have to be ready You just gotta trust the right You don't have to be scary You just gotta follow the light You're able to be happy You can do whatever you like This is another one of those areas that kind of gets neglected in a child's room when I tell him to come in and clean and like dust off his dresser and dust off his shelves. He definitely does it, but he doesn't think of these little nooks and crannies and like, you know, all of this stuff like us parents and adults do. So I wanted to get that cleaned up as well. When we first moved into this house, we only hung one of his shelves because honestly, we really thought that was all that would be needed. We were very wrong because as he started collecting more of those action figure things, I'm not really sure what they're called, but as he started collecting more of them, his dresser was just constantly covered and I honestly, it ate away, he didn't care. It didn't bother him at all, but it ate away at me because when I want him to come in here and kind of like dust things off and clean up a bit, you know, all that stuff was in the way. And I noticed a lot of the time too, it was like, it, he would, you know, have all those collectibles. I guess that's what they're called, collectibles. <laughs> he would have all of those like collectibles, but then on top of it, he would throw like, you know, tags from new clothing or, you know, just like trash on it. And then it would like get lost in the mix. So my goal was really to get his dresser cleaned off and have very minimal on it. So we decided that we did need to hang the second show. Okay, this is how far I've made it with the room. Everything's pretty organized. I'm really happy with the outcome, but I cannot move this bed myself. So I have to wait until Chris and Colby get home and then we'll move the bed back and I'll vacuum the whole room. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and clean their bathroom because it's messy. The goal on this day was to primarily get Colby's room done. And then if I had some extra time, I really wanted to focus on getting their bathroom done. I knew this was gonna be a hard task because I was doing this on a school day. School days are really rough for me because I typically get up, get Grayson to school, come back, get ready, get Colby to school, come back, have breakfast, and then I have some time to kind of do this kind of stuff that I wanna do, and then I gotta go get Grayson. And it's like this vicious cycle, but it's a small window of time. Usually I get maybe a couple hours, then of course, I'm also taking care of Tristan and also, you know, doing all the mom things with the toddler. So it is hard sometimes for me to get it all done. So I try to set out things that I want to do. And that's how it was on this day. Like I want to get the bedroom and the bathroom done. But if I don't get to the bathroom, I don't get to the bathroom. The main goal was the bedroom and anything out of that after that was just a bonus. So Always remember that when you go into like cleaning tasks, and you know it's gonna take a while. Don't get frustrated that you didn't get everything done that you wanted to initially. Just be thankful for what you did get done because as moms and as parents, it's hard. It's hard doing it all.
I thought I would tell you a funny story. So last Christmas, I decided to buy the whole family Sonicare toothbrushes. I have a friend who's a dental hygienist and she's always sworn by the Sonicare toothbrushes. Like those are the best ones to get. Even if you get the cheapest one, it's, she said there's no need to even buy the most expensive one. Just get the cheapest one. But those are really like the good toothbrushes that really help your, your tooth health, your teeth health, whatever. So I bought the boys one. I bought Colby one a few years ago. I bought the boys one. This year I got me and Chris one finally. And my two younger boys though, they do not like when the toothbrush is on. It's got two different like vibration settings, like one softer, one's a little bit harder, but they do not like it and it like scares them. So I went out and bought these expensive toothbrushes for them and they don't even use them properly. I still brush their teeth like it's just a normal toothbrush. I know one day they will, you know, grow and use it, but as of right now, you know, it was a waste. I'll be there if you reach out to me. As always, I'm using my Clorox toilet wand to clean the toilet. I swear by these things, they are the best things to use for your toilets because as soon as you're done scrubbing that bad boy clean, you get to toss the nastiest part of it, which I love because, you know, it's just gross. Cleaning toilets in general is just gross, but I also wanted to let you know, I get a lot of questions about like my steam mop and my vacuum and some of the products I use. I always have them linked in the description box down below. I try to link everything that I can, especially like most frequently asked questions. There's even some things linked like my living room rug and the play for, playroom rug and things like that that I know people frequently ask for. Colby and Chris were able to get Colby's bed moved. So now I can come back in here. It feels a lot less congested, but, and we got the bed on the accent wall, which was of course the whole like goal, but now I can come in here and vacuum. But while I'm doing that, I also wanted to mention like a cool little tip. Whenever I was like doing, decorating his room and everything like that, like I said, he's got a little, a lot of little knickknacks, whether, whether it be like you know, games, movies, virtual things, um, you know, like his virtual headset or whatever, like, you know, if I could speak, words are hard today, <laughs> but little things like that, right? Little gadgets like that, some books, some sketchbooks he likes to draw. So I was trying to figure out a way that I could store them in his room without them kind of being piled everywhere or kind of just open everywhere. So I got little bins, like what you just saw. That was a little suitcase and he keeps all of his gaming stuff in there and then over here you see that little box there i love that little box but he's got that with like books in it like sketchbooks and extra like stencil stuff like that and then there's another one to the right of me as you can see i just do a lot of things like that so that it's not just a pile on the floor here we are though moving on to day two and we are going to be working in my bedroom today. I really wanted to get my bedroom all dusted off and get my bathroom all clean.
I've been keeping my eye out because I've been really wanting to change up my bed, like my bedding, not my bed, I love my bed frame, but I've been really wanting to change up like my bedding, like more so like the pillows and the blanket on it and everything. I wanna go for like more of like darker tones, like blacks and grays and you know, like a darker gray or whatever. So I've been keeping my eye out. I did find one pillow that I liked, but I still am keeping my eye out for a few more pieces. And then hopefully in the near future, I will be changing up the bedding in here. If you're still here, still watching, I would love to know how your weekend has been. Did you do anything exciting? I always love hearing about your fun adventures and what you have going on. We actually have Tristan's birthday coming up and I'm thinking we're gonna do like a little weekend getaway. I'm really excited. He's still pretty young, so I felt like, you know, we could get away with not doing a birthday party for him since he's still pretty young. He doesn't go to school or like have a ton of friends or anything like that. So I feel like it would be funner for us to like make it really special by like taking a little weekend to get away and do something that he really thoroughly enjoys. So I've been planning that, but I would love to hear what you have going on. For those of you who have been around for a long time, you know that I hate cleaning the shower. I hate it. But I have been really good lately in staying on top of it and not letting it get too bad, not letting it get super gross. And like, you know, once it all starts kind of building up, it's like a really, it becomes even more daunting of a task. And I repeat that cycle way too often, but I've been doing really good lately with keeping up with it and keeping it sparkly clean all the time. And I'm just really proud of myself, so I wanted to mention it. I wanted to talk about my comment section for a minute just because I've been feeling super guilty lately and of course I know all of you are so supportive and understanding and I am incredibly grateful for that. But I know that, you know, a lot of time passes sometimes before I can actually get to all my comments and I know not everybody expects me to get back to all of my comments, but I do set a high standard for myself and I like to get back to every single comment. It's important to me 
I'm not a big enough YouTuber yet to where I can't get back to all of them. It's just that sometimes it takes me a lot longer than I would like it to, which is frustrating for me because I wish it wasn't so hard to obtain being able to do that. And I know a day will come where, you know, it'll no longer be an option. I will just have to try to get through as many as I can in a day, but I just wanted to apologize even though I know you guys are amazing and you don't even want or need the apology, but just for me, I wanted to apologize for how long it's been taking me to get back to comments. I've been really trying to up my content on this channel and I've been trying to, you know, of course be the best mom that I can be and all of the things. And sometimes with that, comments fall to the wayside, which just sucks. I hate that it is that way because I love being able to chat with you guys. That's how I connect with you through the comments. So. I just wanted to let you know that I am putting in a working effort this week to really, really stay on top of it. And that might look like, you know, coming on here and only being able to answer 10 at a time and then, you know, getting back to more later. And that's probably my biggest struggle is I'm a very, once I start something, I want to finish it type of person. So I'll push it off because I don't have the time to answer all the comments instead of just doing, you know, etching away a little at a time. And I realize I can't do that anymore I can't answer them all at once so we're gonna edge away a little bit at a time this week and really see if it's easier for me to stay on top of them that way so for those of you who are like me and have that mindset like you once you start something you want to finish it and then you put it off because you know you can't finish it all at once you know what I'm talking about it's so hard to like be that personality type but I'm working on it <laughs> one way or another I'm working on it but we are moving on to the playroom now because it is a disaster. My kids have been really good about keeping clean though. I do have to say that. The other day, I told Grayson to come in here. I was like, all right, y'all need to clean up. He came in, he had the room picked up within like five minutes. I was so proud of him. He had it all cleaned up and was ready to like move on to the next thing.
last thing we will be doing is vacuuming the stairs because it's been far too long and I can see like all the dust and everything. It's time, it's time to be done. All right, friends, thank you so much for choosing to click on this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and join the family. Give this video a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. If you want to share it, that helps as well. And I appreciate you guys so much for being here with me today. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.